Hello YouTubers, welcome back to Yorkshireman 66 I'm Mark, your host, presenter, entertainer, whatever you want to call me I am it, I am here, promised I'd do a video today and here it is Now I'm doing suggested games for the Gamecube, basically um, I said I'd be mixing it up a bit, <coughs> so I will be doing them that and be going through it and things like that And yeah, Zoo Cube that's a suggested game for the Nintendo GameCube. I got this yonks ago. It only cost me a pound. But I do believe, now I could be wrong, um, um, but in my area, everyone's jumping on the GameCube, and I think it's because of the disposable income. It's getting popular, and prices are starting to creep up a little bit in, this is in my area um, don't know where you live it could be different it's like with Wii U games they're creeping up a bit you know a lot of people say art oh, prices are coming down they might be coming down in like car books charity shops and things like that but where I live and this is where I live in West Yorkshire Wakefield is charity shops sell a lot of their games online um, don't seem to find many around you know what I mean? They've all found the internet, or, well, they've all found eBay, haven't they? You know what I mean? But yeah, I, I found that for a quid. It's not a bad game. And that, but that's one suggested game. I will be suggesting that you get for your GameCube. Um, this is an interesting story because I got this from Blackpool. Uh, FIFA 2003. Again, it, it, it only cost me a pound. Um, but they had rows and rows and rows of, uh, of FIFA games. Only one in GameCube, so I thought I'd grab it because I didn't have it. Yeah, I could. That came out of a chart shop at Blackpool. Um, this one, which WrestleMania times eight. Um, World Wrestling Entertainment. It's a yeah, it's not a bad little game. I picked it up. And that. I quite like it. You know, it's all the disc is there. The manual is not, but as people know me, I am a collector, but as people know me, manuals don't really bother me. I don't expect the manual to be there. Another reason why is because kids play with them. It's simple as. That is the only reason. Um, another good game is The Burnout. I do believe that's the first one they ever did, Burnout. Um, but yeah. It cost me two quid for cash converters. But, yet, another good game. Buy a claim as well. It's a decent game. Buy them. It, it really is. It really is a good game. Another good game, which is... Medal of Honor, Rise, the, the Rising Sun. Another suggested game. Do you like Medal of Honor? If you go with that price... It cost me two pound fifty. It has been, but I didn't get it from from there. But I got it from there at that price. So yeah, I got it fifty p cheaper. But but the manual there, which you don't expect, but it is. And both discs. If you feel if you look at that, yeah. Yeah. So you got that one there. Then. Both discs. This one and this two. So yeah, yeah, quite happy with that. And like I say, I was happy to pay the two pound fifty on that. Um, again, a two pound fifty game, Donkey Konga. Donkey Kong. I haven't got the bongos, unfortunately. But yeah, I do. I do believe it, it's only for the, the the GameCube as well. So I don't know. Yeah, Did he say so there? Look. Only for so there you go. A damn good game. It really is a, a really damn good game. Oh no, by the way, I like to give a friend of mine a, a, a shout out. Um, I, he, he's um, someone tried to hack his Facebook account and that, and everything's all sorted out now. I, he ups and I up so as well. And I'd just like to give a shout out to your lad. He's 
damn, he, he, he is really good at what he really does. He, he, he really is. Um, so go to his channel and give him some Yorkshire love. Just say I sent you, just say Yorkshire 66 has sent me a drop. He knows who I am. So there you go. So that's it. Go do it. <laughs> Thank you, sir. And also, I'd like to give a shout out to UK Crowd. I'd like to get him up there to that, that 700 subs and that. So, UK Crowd, I give him a shout out. And Jordy Slasher Gaming as well, I give him a shout out. He did two videos yesterday on PS4 Part 1 and Part 2. Fantastic video that was, Jordy Slasher Gaming. I really enjoyed it. And I hope people go to you and sub to your content. You are getting really really good so please in please go over there and to Jordy Slasher Gaming as well so that is a great one I honestly think fantastic channel awesome channel all them three channels Yorkshire Lad UK Crow and Jordy Slasher Gaming they're all fantastic and awesome channels go check them out I won't send you across if they were rubbish but they're awesome they're all awesome. It's as simple as that. <laughs> and as Yorkshire last said, look how professional we are. <laughs> really? I am not that professional, I'll tell you. Um, another one, Extreme Racing. It's a good game, actually. Extreme G Racing. It's a, it's a good game. But uh, it is what it is. I, I mean... Yeah, I've got manual wheel, put lock and that. And, yeah. Really is. Really good. So, yeah, that's another suggested game for your collection if you haven't got. And if you haven't got any of these games, you should have them in your collection. I I do, honestly. So, yeah, yeah. Tell you that is the truth. Now, Starsky and Hutch, it's a bit of a Marmite game. It's it cost me three quid from there, not from there, but it's the same price. But it's a bit of a my mate game. Some people like it, some people hate it. If you like awkward playing games, then you're going to like this one. But if you think it's something like, like Driver, then no, it's completely different. Um, yeah, I mean, I, I, I think, I'll, you know, the reason why they jumped on the franchise, I, I mean... I mean, they've got this on PS2. <laughs> Fires it out, they've got it on PS2. They had it on PS3. I think they had it relaunched on PS3. I'm not quite sure. But it, it, it's on Nintendo. It starts you know. It, if you're a fan of the TV series, then you may buy the game to complement it. Like I have, because I've got the TV series. Things like that. But there you go. But like I say, it's a Marmite game. Some people like it. Some people love it and hate it. Yeah, I don't like my mind itself. <laughs> um, Tony Oaks, Pro Skater 4. Well, let's say about this. It is what it is. It's a skateboard game. It's absolutely shite. <laughs> I don't like it. It's rubbish. It's absolutely rubbish. But some people will disagree and say, Oh no, Tony Oaks, Pro Skater it's fantastic. It's a great game. Not for me. Hey, look, if I want to go skateboarding, I just buy a skateboard and go outside and do it. I ain't gonna play it on a on a game console. Sorry, but I'm not. Uh, Terminator Redemption. That cost me four quid. It's the it's a better Terminator game than previous games. Really, it is a little bit better, but it is what it is. It's a Terminator game. So yeah, you may like it, you may not. So there you go. Um. Now we're getting into the realms of what I like to call it, um, card games. Uh, games what I love to play. I, um, if you know it's Velma games, I've got a lot of car I've got a lot of I've got a lot of racing games and car games. So the only reason why is because that is the genre of gaming I love. So Need for Speed, I love Need for Speed, especially um, you know, you know, oh, especially the. <laughs> Because oh, underground, and it's the very first one what introduced you to that. Um, it's a good game. It, it really, really, really is. And 
when I was talking about Juiced coming out for this, this is why it got beat. This franchise beat it. I mean, it's from EA, uh, Electronic Arts games and that. Yeah, but it's, uh, yeah, yeah, you know, licensed by Nintendo. It's a good game. It really is. I was surprised they got a full game on this, on that small disc. But apparently they did, and apparently I have played it. It's exactly the same length as the one I've got on, on the 360 or the PS2. So, yeah, it is really good. So, car games. That's that one. You can't have Need for Speed Underground without Need for Speed Underground 2. It's a little bit different, is this. Go anywhere, go fast. It's a little bit different. I won't say it's any better, or I won't say it's any better, but I won't say if it's any worse. I don't think it is. Um, I won't say it's worse, I won't say it's any better. I say, what I would say about it is, it's good. I like it. I have race to get it. You get more cars. That's the thing about it. And then we come to, I mean, I mean everyone said they should have done a number three to this. And I agree they should have done Need for Speed Underground 3. But they didn't. They did Need for Speed Most Wanted. Which is an awesome game. It's the original Most Wanted. It's not the 2000 crappy 12 one. It is the original Most Wanted. It's the best one out there. It's what everyone wants. Yeah, And I've got it with the manual. It's what everyone wants. You know what I mean? But that is definitely a suggested game. If you like your Need for Speed, you've got to have this. If you haven't, why not? And again, after that came Car yeah, yeah, Need for Speed Carbon. And again, yeah, you know, I've got no manual for this whatsoever. Um, I will pick one up eventually. But there you go, Need for Speed Carbon. I love it. I, I, I love, I love Need for Speed. I really do. I love it that much. I've got it on every, I think it's every console except for, for Wii. I've got it on on this one. I've got it on the on the uh, f first ever Xbox made. I've got it on that system. I've got it on the PS2 and the and I've got Need for Speed on the PS3. So there you go. So there they're the car games of what I got. And then you can't really, you know, how, how can I follow it up? You know, you got a, such an iconic brand in, in, in like Need for Speed, you know, Carbon and things like that. So, so how could I follow that up? Well, I can. And it's with Tom Clancy's Splinter Cell. Um, that's the original one. And it's good. Sam Fisher, it's, yeah, he's good. Yeah, it's really good. And then we've got the, the, the Chaos Theory. Um, I don't know what the go through. Yeah, I, I don't know what comes first or second or third, but I've got the Chaos Theory, which again I found I found it good. It's different. Yeah, you know, controls a bit different. It's a bit more s smooth. It's not as clunky. And, I, and then Pandora tomorrow. Um, split the cell Pandora tomorrow. So there you go. So that's that one. I am keeping that one. That 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 is retro. Isn't it? You're not going to see that ever again. Yeah, because whoever did that. There's not long gone, so yeah. But like I said, I only pay six pound a piece for them. Then I was thinking, how the heck, how the hell can I follow that one up? Well, I can follow it up, and I, and I have uh, Star Wars Rogue Leader. Now I'm after the first first one they did of this. This is number two. I I, I, ain't, I ain't got any of it, but this is number two Rogue Leader. It is a good game. I have played it. I do like it. I think it's a fantastic, fantastic game. I like all Star Wars though. Star Wars Rogue Squadron 3. Again. Excellent. I'm after... This is Star Wars Rebel Strike. I'm after that Rogue Leader. I'm after the first one. And they did do a, a first one, but I haven't got that. So there you go. And then... I follow that up by with Star Wars The Clone Wars <laughs> which in itself is a it's a game on it's all on it's own it's a good game it really is it's yeah it's, it's one for the Star Wars so I would obviously say 
And then, and then I've got, which cost me a bit of money, eight, eight pounds. But it's complete, and they said it was complete, and it, it's, it's all complete. Um, Men in Black, Alien Escape. So, there you go. So that's Men in Black. That cost me eight quid. But, the one what I'm proud of, The one what I'm proud of, because a lot of people say this could have cost me a lot more money. That only cost me eight quid. Now, I do believe it can cost a lot more than that. And, or it could cost a lot less, but it's two discs, and I've got both discs with it. And, you know, CX did say, they say, look, Mark, it, 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 it is complete. That says, well, that's all right then. And it's all there. It's definitely, com it's definitely complete. It's all complete, and I'm happy. I've got I've got the both discs, and and I'm happy with that. I'm really am. I've got the manual and everything like that. So yeah, I'm really chuffed a bit. So there, there's my choices. If you're collecting for the Nintendo GameCube and you were a bit stuck to what games to get, well, I, I've suggested my full collection of the Nintendo GameCube. That is my full collection. What I've just shown you to suggest. I don't usually show my full collection but I have this time I did with the Wii U I showed you the entire collection of what I've got I, I haven't got many at Wii U another reason why is um, a lot of people slated well they didn't slate me they just said look you, you can't yell they are coming down uh, so I keep my eye out on that but my experience when I've been looking especially online I've been looking on um, Amazon and eBay and, and people are still wanting a lot more money for them than, than what they really were, basically. But yeah, so Nintendo. Now, what I will say about the Nintendo GameCube is if you are going to collect for it, then use your brains. Go to car boots, go to the cheapest places first. Only reason why I go to CX is because on these, I get a two years guarantee. And you do, as long as you keep your receipts and things like that. You, know, you get a two year guarantee. You, know, you get a two year guarantee. That's why I like buying consoles off of CEX when they're not outrageously dear um, so yeah so there's my suggested games for the, the Nintendo GameCube but like I said you could apply all this to what I'm telling you to like a, a film collection or a music collection and things like that um, I don't know if people would like to see my music collection I doubt it I mean, I am pretty boring in that, you know what I mean? I, I have got nothing outrageously uh, rare or like that. Uh, I have got a film collection, as people know. Um, and if you watch me latest video, my favourite black and white films, my favourite black and white format films, then you'll understand where I come from. Um, so, yeah, that's, you know, so like I said, with the Nintendo GameCube, at the moment, a lot of people are jumping on it. Because it's a generation where they want the childhood back, basically. And prices will be going up. Now, I have been told they are slowly creeping up. And they are in West Yorkshire. They're slowly creeping up. So, what I would advise you to do is hunt. Go on the hunt. Go around car boots. Go around markets. Huddersfield's got a second-hand market. Go around them. Go around, like I say, go around car boots. Car boots would be a decent source but always open the box check the disc inside check the condition if it's badly scuffed don't buy and uh, also check charity shops as well and again same applies always open up the box always do this this is why i do it when i'm on camera i don't need to do it but i do you know i go like that you know, oh, oh yeah <laughs> i'm not buying it i've already got it but it's an habit what I, I don't want to get out of, basically, because when you go to charity shops, you open up. I, I do with DVDs, I just check the discs with with music um, CDs as well. I check the discs and things like that. Um, I, I do it with my DVDs, like what I got from Music Map Pay and, and uh, Amazon and that. So, yeah. yeah. So, that's how that goes. So, like I says, always buy from your cheapest source, which is, I would suggest, car books, second hand markets. Chapter Shops is a good place. Um, music Map Pie 
seems to be a, a, another good place as well and that so I mean with music map pack if you buy online with music map pack you only get charged once for postage as well <laughs> I've noticed that I notice if you buy three games they only charge you one postage one price for your postage so you can get a basket full and you're not going to be charged once for your postage that's what I like with CX with every game you buy you got they put postage on top of it and I think it's wrong I really do but it, it is the way it is but I have seen on CX that you can get some reasonably cheap price games. But Calvooks, charity shops, second hand marketplaces. If you've got a market a second hand marketplace near you. We haven't seen we aren't really in Wakefield, but Huddersfield has. Um I think Jewsby has as well, that outside market still. because uh, that's where they have a car boot. Uh, I know they have two in, in Jewsby, they have one in town centre and at Jewsbury Rams as well, so that's the thing but everyone's jumping on the gamecube so my idea is and this is what i've done i i'm not adding to this collection at the moment i'm just waiting until prices do drop because they will drop again and that yeah you know, i'm just old enough if i pick up one or two games what i think is reasonable price now i'll pick up and it's as simple as that so if you have, by any chance, if you have liked this video and you think, oh, I want more, I want more of that, of that crazy Yorkshire who talks to himself to a camera, then please give it a like. Thumbs up. That gives me a like. So please give it a like. Um, please subscribe as well. It's free to subscribe. I'm not trying to sell you anything. This is my hobby. This is what I love to do. I'm just sharing it with you. And so that's all I'm doing is sharing it with you. I'm not here to sell you anything. Uh, I'm here to recommend you to get games, but I'm not going to sell you the games if you know what I mean. So it's agenda free. It is. It is my hobby. It's what I like doing. So that's hence why I do the videos. What else can I say about it? Yeah. What else is there? Oh yeah. And please share the video to your friends and family and your parents. And please, please, please share it to Twitter and Facebook and comment below. Please comment below. We had a lovely discussion about my general chit chat. That was fantastic. Um, so to the guy who gave me a decent debate on my general chit chat, thumbs up to you, lad. Really, really enjoyed that debate. I really did. And like I said, I'm not here to fall out with anybody. I've got my opinion. You've got your opinion, and that's how it should work. So any so any opinions on these games, feel free to put them in there, and I'll talk to you. I'll chit chat back to you. And things like that. We might not agree on everything. Um, all I can say is, is, yeah, 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 yeah. All I can say is, thank you for watching, and I'll see you on the next video. Bye for now.